Hi, we're Jack and Heather, two busy professionals exploring the Lone Star State on the weekends in our travel trailer. We recently stayed at San Luis Pass County Park. This video will show you our experience at the park. And stick around because we've got a special surprise at the very end. It was a surprise even for us. San Luis Pass County Park is a 15-acre park located just west of the Brazoria and Galveston County toll bridge that crosses the San Luis Pass waterway. It's owned and run by Brazoria County, which runs from the coastline up to the southern edge of Houston. Here's a fun fact. This park was previously a KOA campground, but has been a Brazoria County Park since about 1993. San Luis Pass used to be a popular back entry into Galveston Bay for smugglers and pirates. Because of the strong current that runs through San Luis Pass, this area is actually restricted waters, and there's a fine for swimming, wading, or entering the restricted water. Accessing the water by boat is just fine, and the park does have a public boat ramp available. When you arrive at the park, you'll go to the big building with the wraparound covered porch closest to the boat ramp first, and you'll find a nice sized camp store as well. The other building is a meeting room that you can rent. After you check in, take the blink and you miss it road to the right of the meeting room building. That will take you to the RV sites. Once you get around the corner, there's a gate with a keypad. Anytime you go in or out, you'll need that gate code that you got at check-in even for pedestrians. Once you cross over that wooden bridge, welcome to the RV park. The park has 69 paved level sites with full hookups. Leave your tents at home though, because tent camping is not allowed here. There are back in and pull through sites available with 30 and 50 amp electric, water and sewer connections. Most sites run about $43 a night with waterfront sites at about $48 per night at the time of this video. The park offers discounts for county residents, disabled veterans, and active duty military. There's a bathhouse and laundry facilities on site as well. There's a nice walking path around the outside edges of the park. And with as close as everything is, you're sure to meet a few of your fellow campers along the way. Waterfront sites on the edges of the park are the only ones that have fire rings. These also seem to be a little bit longer sites than the ones in the middle, so keep that in mind if you've got a longer rig. Overall, the RV sites are pretty small and very close together. We actually changed sites because the neighbors on our original site had hooked up to our electric water and sewer. Rather than asking them to move, we just switched to an open spot. It worked out great because we ended up not having any neighbors and we could park the truck in the site next to us. So let's talk about this bathhouse. The bathhouse was really nice and clean. You walk up a wide staircase to get to the restrooms and showers. And bonus, you get really pretty views on your way to the shower. Don't forget your gate code because you'll need it for the restroom and shower access too. I was really impressed with how clean it was with all of the wood. I hate neglected restrooms that end up with tons of spider webs, bugs, and general grossness. The bathhouse structure is very rustic and open, so you feel the breeze coming off the water. These were definitely well cared for. My favorite part of this park was the water. You've got to love water here. We enjoyed watching the fishermen and women with their catches, many species of birds trying to share in the lunch, and having such close access to walk along the sandy beaches. This campground is a fisherman's paradise, surrounded on three sides by fishable waters. Here's a pro tip though, 
you do need a fishing license, so stop and pick one up on your way in if you don't have it already. There's a path to the San Luis Pass Beach right next to the meeting rental building. Or you can drive about a mile west to the Kelly Hamby Nature Trail and enjoy the Gulf of Mexico. Of course, we took one of the kayaks with us on this trip. With so much water around, how could we not? We had a special surprise on this trip. As we drove in, we saw signs announcing that Blue Water Highway would be closed on Sunday morning. Closed? How are we supposed to get home? Turns out it was closed for the cycling portion of the Galveston Ironman. So we got the unique experience of seeing the toll bridge closed and hundreds of cyclists making their way across the bridge, past the park to a turnaround point, and then they made their way back. So we hung out on Sunday morning, took our time with breakfast, kept an eye on the toll bridge for vehicle traffic. Once we saw cars going across, we made our way home as well. Overall, we really enjoyed the San Luis Pass Park. We would definitely recommend it to anyone who's looking for a great place to go and spend the weekend fishing. Just know that you're going to be very close to your neighbors. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button so you can find out about our future adventures.